Hello, hello, beautiful sacred feminine. Thank you so much for being here and for joining me. We are going to pull our cards for the week. Any uh, wisdom and advice and insight that can help us navigate these um, pretty intense energies that we're in right now. I mean, really, there's a lot going on in the collective and just a lot going on with the planet and um, the frequencies and the vibrations are really shifting and changing. And I feel myself as I'm talking and recognizing like I am pretty activated with all of this energy and yesterday I drove for eight hours so that can like kind of the movement of that can really kind of like get my energy going so I slept really good but um yeah I'm also in a truck stop so this is life on the road you never really know where you're going to end up these uh, loves truck stops have been amazing little havens and they I can shower so I got to take a shower today that's one thing about life on the road you never know when you're gonna get a shower and it's not very regular so I took advantage and but the energy of truck stops is really it's kind of strange <laughs> so I'm feeling that I'm pretty sensitive to energy so I'm definitely feeling that but um, but that's okay that's 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 part of life and navigating right so um, let's see what's going to come through. Um, I'm really interested in ways to help us work with these energies in a more grounded and calm way. They can be very unsettling and really illuminating too. There's a lot of shifts going on. You know, our consciousness, things are, are coming into our awareness now that are, um, yeah, illuminating, very illuminating. Oh, and we've got the full moon tomorrow, too. I'm probably feeling that as well. How are you feeling with that, I wonder? Okay, so welcome in, Mother Earth. Thank you so much for your beautiful, powerful energies to support us in our process. Thank you, Father, Son. Thank you, all the planets, all our spirit guides, all the angels that we work with, any high vibe frequencies, plant spirits, stone spirits, crystal spirits, animal spirits, our ancestors, Pleiadians, Orion, Syrians, anybody that we work with, any of these frequencies, these high vibe frequencies that are here to support us in this wisdom. We invite you in. We welcome you. We know you're already here. I just say that we are made up of these frequencies. They are not separate from us. That is very important to, to really embody that and really bring that in. We don't need to outsource our power to any of these energies because they are us. We are all in this one unity consciousness and we're just working towards remembering that. So, thank you, thank you, thank you for any wisdom and insight that you have to support us throughout this over this next coming week. We're so grateful. Thank you to support the sacred feminine, moving out of the wounded feminine into the sacred feminine, really embracing the power of these energies for our highest growth and our highest selves for the benefit of all beings. So thank you. Oh my goodness, all sorts of cards there. There's too many. Okay, there we go. Awesome. One moment, I hear the water, <laughs> the rain is starting, so I need to shut my window. One moment, please. <laughs> okay, such a beautiful sound, the rain on top of my little shuttle bus. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is lovely. It feels really nourishing and refreshing. Okay. 
Okay, so we have <laughs> the Queen of Cups, which I think is really interesting because I was just talking about emotions and how we can support ourselves to be moving through. And she is really just in control of her emotions. She is just looking at them. She, she's looking at this cup. She's sitting here very grounded, very peaceful, but looking at this cup. So I think she's examining her emotions. She's looking at them. She's not like freaked out or whacked out about them, but she's just like, here's my emotions and I'm just observing them. I don't need to be totally freaked out about what's going on. I'm just strong. I'm in my power. She's got, she's got her feet on the earth and she's right next to the water. So she's really, she's stable, but she's connected to her emotions. She's just She's just really, I love this card. I love this. Um, whenever I get this, I just feel like, okay, good. I'm doing really, you know, I'm stable. I'm, I'm working with them. And then with that, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a lot going on right now with the finances and resources. And I think there's some new energies. I was listening to... Um, Lee Harris, who, does, who channels the Z's, and he was talking about the energies for the month, and one of them is a new energy around finances that is coming in, a really supportive energy that is really changing how we relate to money and how we um, experience it, and not just like the money system is changing and shifting, because we know that's happening, we're seeing that, but this is a new way to relate to money and finances so I feel like this is somewhat speaking to that you know and maybe some of us are having some challenges around that and getting concerned and so I feel like this is speaking to just like this is this is gonna be okay this is this is um oh I definitely feel my energy a little like whoa right now but this feels it's a it's a new beginning it's a new beginning and then we have what the magician so you know, really working with all of these elements. And this is working with all of the elements of our world, our 3D experience, earth, wind, air, air, earth, air, fire, water, to create something really magical and beautiful. He's taking all these different energies and creating something. He's pointing up and down. He's connecting heaven and earth. He's connecting spirit and matter. And he's creating a, something gorgeous and really He's in control. He's utilizing the elements to create something magical. You know, he's not at the, um, at uh, the, he's not being blown about by them. You know, he's in control. He's utilizing them. And that really speaks to this card as well. The Queen of Cups in control of her emotions, just like recognizing them, seeing them, working with them, calm, not tossed about. So these are all very much stable, grounded cards. And then we have here, this is interesting, the five of wands. The wands are a fire energy. And for me, that's really a lot about the transformation, the spiritual growth, the inner alchemy that's happening, the alchemy with the magician. But this is a, a fire inside, what's burning up, burning up karma is what's ready to go, that fire of transformation, what's in the cauldron, what are we what are we alchemizing? What are we creating? And with this, there's um, some tension and strife going on here. What is trying to shift and move in you that you might not be allowing, that you might be fighting with, that you might be feeling in tension with? And this really goes to, yeah, the magician, something's being created. He is creating something, but maybe you're kind of struggling with it at some sort of level. You know, you're just like, ooh. I don't know. I'm having a hard time letting go with all the new that's coming in. This Ace of Pentacles, a lot. It's new energy. It's the beginning. It's the it's the the start. It's a new foundation. So, um, yeah, we're really on some levels really working with what's coming in right now. Working with the shifts and changes, but we are definitely feeling some tension in here and wondering how to work with that. So, and this is the five card. Five is the number of transformation and transition and change. So what is changing in your world that you might be having a hard time with and might need some support in letting go? And where can you come back to the queen to just know that you are, you've got your emotions in, in, 
in check you're connected with your intuition this isn't just emotions this is the the sacred feminine the cups the emotions the water cards you know water is the sacred feminine so how are we really working with our intuition working with receptivity you know she's just open to receive how are we working with all of that as we're moving into these new new things that we're creating that are coming to fruition and and yeah where are we having a hard time letting go and where are we struggling internally with ourselves you know or maybe externally maybe there's some external factors that are um challenging you and you're feeling like you're you're struggling with and you're fighting with and how can you maybe pull back and let go and just kind of surrender and let things flow you know again with that water card maybe it's time to just allow surrender flow and step back away watch what is being created because there's magical things happening here and let's look at those things let's just allow the magic to happen allow the new foundations allow the new beginnings <clears throat> yeah that's that's what I'm seeing here a lot let me tap in and see if there's anything more coming through I think it really is just just that you know we are doing so much to move through this and at some levels we are just really rocking it out we are just doing amazing we've been doing the work and that's been kind of the theme over the past few weeks you know um, where you know I think last week was also looking at where are we letting go of a lot of those structures and systems and, and um, foundations that that are not serving us anymore so here we are after that after the energies of last week and now we move into this okay you know we've got we're in our power we're in our sacred feminine power and we are watching the new beginnings we are open to receive the bounty and blessings of these new beginnings this is a very lush fertile card here and there's a gateway you know in this beginnings here and it's moving towards well, it looks like a mountain over there but there's a lot of lushness and beauty so the mountain symbolizes like yeah there's challenges sure there's going to be things to to overcome and to move through and to to climb you know the the mountain is um yeah stuff to climb you know like this capricorn full moon we're moving into tomorrow is all about climbing you know the steps the necessary steps and that it keeps going that capricorn energy keeps going and it has his the eyes on the prize you know ready to go to the top of the mountain so so here we are we're ready to take this journey the ace is the beginning so it's a beginning of this journey but we have all the resources we have this lushness and this fertility that's starting out within us it's a fertile beautiful energy and a lot of support and this is the divine you know the divine bringing in the resources bringing in that foundation bringing in that lushness supporting us and look, the star, the, the pinnacle, it's pointing up, you know, this is, and there's a solid foundation here at the bottom. It's very, this is a very powerful card. All the aces, I feel like, are just really beautiful in this new beginning, but so supported because it is coming from the divine. This is coming from the divine. So we need to remember that any changes that you're moving through, any shifts that are happening, uh, try to let go of this and recognize that it is coming from the divine. It's coming from the divine and magic is happening magic is happening and you are the magician you know just allow open to receive see what is in your environment what are you working with how do you bring all these elements together to create something magical you know yeah and and where where are you resisting where are you creating tension for yourself that maybe just doesn't really need to be there and i know i've been working with this in my own experience to so just there's so much beauty all around and I can tend to like look at what isn't there you know like oh but I want this and oh I don't see this in my life and I've been trying to manifest this and why isn't it here <laughs> look at all the beautiful things that are here so that's the tension that I create for myself that just absolutely isn't necessary when I can surrender and flow so how can we do that how can we do that how do we surrender and just really connect with our sacred feminine energies and just just chill out and be in it that's a big piece she's just being she's not doing 
anything. She's just sitting there chilling out going, yep, here I am. I'm connected to the earth. I'm connected to, to my emotions, to my intuition. I'm chilled out. I don't have to worry about anything. Yes, I love this card. That's beautiful. Okay, so let us pull an oracle card to see what other words of wisdom to support us this week. Ooh, that was about 10. <laughs> we only really need one. <laughs> All right. This is the same card we got a little while ago. I see a theme here. <laughs> and we're working again with wash away your burdens, you know. It's the same, it's the same message we got, I think, two weeks ago, or maybe it was last week. No, last week was return to source or something like that. So, wash away your burdens. Again, that really fits into what we were just talking about. And this is always going to be a good relevant card, right? But again here, connect to water. Get into some water. Even if it's just taking a shower with the intention of washing away all that stress and tension that you might be creating for yourself or that you're perceiving. It's all about our perceptions, right? When we can kind of step back and, and take a new perspective and start looking at things in a different way from this place of new beginnings and magic, you know? Um, yeah, what other self-care techniques do you have? There's also some green in here, getting out into nature. Right now, as I'm talking about this, the water's coming down, and that just feels so refreshing and rejuvenating to me. It's so lovely. So, yeah, get into some water, do some self-care techniques, release, release, release our perceptions of struggle and strife in that internal, try to, try to um, step back, you know. Here's a great practice. Whatever you feel like is struggling you're you're struggling with or is challenging with you write it down and then flip it around write the opposite of that and turn it into a positive affirmation you know like let's see if an example of um oh, i'm feeling like i don't have enough time in the day that could be a struggle that you might be working with or that so many of us can, can really feel, right? Because time is such a thing in this 3D experience. And um, especially as we're moving into this Capricorn energy of the full moon, time is all of Capricorn structure, time, 3D, you know? So that's an example. I don't feel like I have enough time in the day to get everything done that I want. Write that down if that's something you might be struggling with, if that's something, you know, going on there that you're perceiving in your world. Flip it. I have all of the time that I need. My day is abundant with time. And work with that affirmation for a while. Switch your perspective, switch your perception, take control of it, turn it around and see what happens. And you can do that with anything that you're working with. Write it down. Any of those things that you're telling yourself, any of those negative thought processes or mental patterns that you're spinning in, write it down flip it, <laughs> write the positive of that, whatever that might be for yourself. I have all of the time in the world. I never worry about time. Everything flows in my day, you know, and write that out and then repeat that to yourself, repeat that to yourself and set a, a timer on your phone. This is something that I do every 90 minutes, the, the alarm will go off and I remind myself like, okay, so whatever I'm working with, any positive affirmations that I need to hear, any, um, anything that I'm, I'm maybe calling into my life. I just very intentionally work with that energy for a few minutes and just like reorient myself. Another 90 minutes goes by, I get a little ding on my phone. I'm like, oh yeah. And then I orient towards that. And it keeps me just really aligned and it keeps me like um, on, on point, on focus, on purpose. And I just, it really, it's a beautiful way to orient your day and it's a great way to work with affirmations and it's a great way to retrain the mind because that's what we're doing it's been unconsciously running the show for so long we have to take control of it and um, our minds are beautiful amazing powerful things they've just been kind of moving in the negative for too long so we just flip it do the exact same thing my teacher used to say we rise this is a tantric saying we rise by that which we fall 
our mind can take us down, but it can also lift us up. We just have to flip it. We have to start working with that energy. It is powerful energy. Oh my gosh, our minds are amazing. We just need to get them to start working for us and, 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 and take control and, and be conscious. When we bring the consciousness in, amazing things happen. So, but don't take my word for it. Try it. Try it and see what happens. Set alarms, write affirmations, do do any of those things that speak to you and just, just give it a whirl. And if you're feeling resistance to that, take a look at that. Why, why might that be? Why might you be creating strife and tension for yourself? <laughs> Important one. Okay, beautiful sacred feminines, thank you so much for being here. I'm so grateful for your presence, and this is just, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing this, so I hope that it's supporting you and serving you. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this is working for you. Do you have any thoughts? Did any aha moments come through for you? Do you have anything you want to share? I'd love to hear. Um, yeah, and uh, it, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the little mm, notification bell because, um, yeah, that's how you got to work with the YouTube algorithms. <laughs> I used to subscribe to channels like, why don't I ever get notified of these videos? Oh, because I didn't turn on the notification bell. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so do that. And, um, oh, uh, speaking of the full moon tomorrow, we have our full moon healing circle going on, drum meditation healing circle. So um, check that out. Link will be below. You can register um, on my events page to get the link. These are all, all my healing circles are by donation because I want these to be as accessible as possible for us. I think it's really important for us to come together in community with other women and uh, support each other around these really big times that we're in. So, um, yeah, the full moon, it's a, it's a powerful one. They're all powerful, right? So, and um, then all my other offerings, I do one-on-one -on -one healing sessions, energy healing and sound healing to really work with that wounded feminine archetype and clearing out the, the intergenerational trauma, the repressed anger, the unconscious grief, so much of these energies that are running in the unconscious and really affecting our relationships in a really big way and we're working them out mostly through relationships you know it's just um and that could be romantic partners that could be relationships with family it could be relationships with co-workers bosses employees you know we just are that's where our our patterns just <laughs> they run amok in relationships you know when we're connecting to the other that's when we get to really see ourselves and we see what our challenges are so working with these energies to clear them with energy and bringing more consciousness to our patterns is profoundly healing and life-changing so i invite you to check that out i have programs one-on-one -on -one sessions guidance sessions lots of um, healing circles again like I said so everything's on my website and there's just so much information I have a bunch of tools there as well tools to support you on your journey uh, different book recommendations and um, um, there's so much going on over there so go check it out and um, yeah subscribe to my email list so you get notified of everything that's going on here with healing sacred feminine Thank you all so much for being here. I am just so grateful for your presence. I love putting these videos out for y'all and um, I'm getting a lot out of them just so much. It's like, it's awesome. So thank you everybody and I would send you so much love. Happy full moon, bye.